What is going on guys? Grave here today. Sledgehammer put out another update for Call of Duty Vanguard. Today's update was a server side patch, so we did not have to download anything. Of course, today is November the 18th. I will link these patch notes down in the description below if you would like to read over them for yourself. The biggest thing from this update today is they reduced the bloom of all the base game weapons. So that's the first thing they talked about. They said they reduced the effects of the ADS spread, the uh, bloom on base weapons. They they figured this out without attachments, they said. They put a dev note in here saying, attachments improving accuracy, of course, will reduce ADS spread and attachments with accuracy penalty will increase the effects of ADS spread. I talked about that in my bloom video I made uh, when this all kind of came up after the first few days of the game, uh, after the first few days of the game being out. But it looks like today they have reduced the effects of ADS spread on all base weapons. They also made a balance pass on all shotguns, affecting range, pellet spread, hip fire penalty, and more. They also fixed an issue where the MK11 launcher long shot challenges were not tracked. They corrected a proficiency required for the mind games challenge for the automaton. They also fixed a bug preventing the player from completing the dead eye challenge for the fighting knife. Also for the UI, they fixed the search and destroy bomb glitch where players could see when an enemy was defusing the bomb. I made a video talking about that a few days ago as well. They fixed the gung-ho sprint speed smoothing glitch. Uh, slow down, friends, is kind of what it says. But that has also been worked out. They fixed a bug where players had 10 times the amount of armor HP than normal. They also fixed a bug where the grizz uh, grizzlied veteran challenge get 50 eliminations in objective mode was not tracking. Also, operator's favorite weapon now provided the correct amount of XP when being used. And you know you shouldn't be rocking the Sledgehammer, IW, and Raven Clan tags. Now they made it so you can't. Apparently there was a bug where some players were actually using the Sledgehammer, IW, and Raven get tag in-game. They're somehow getting access to that. They have now fixed that. When it comes to zombies, they addressed an issue where players could still interact with the x portal after failing to x -Fail. Uh, they corrected the MVP highlight unlock text that displays when reaching level 5. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, it was a small server side update. I know everyone's going to be really interested uh, interested to see exactly how this Bloom uh, update's going to kind of work, how the weapons are going to feel now. I, I, I talked about this in my video before. If they can completely remove it, it would be great because, you know, there's enough things you have to you know, kind of consider when using a weapon in any first-person shooter, you know, recoil, that kind of stuff but having this bloom issue as well. So when you're firing a weapon, getting into a gunfight uh, with another player and the bloom is what causes you to lose the gunfight, not your true skill, that's a very annoying thing. So hopefully this will help with the bloom. They may have to you know, reduce it some more. We'll have to wait and see. Personally, I'd like to see it completely gone. I don't think we're gonna get that. But leave me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel. Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. Also check out the merch store linked down in the description as well. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.